In this video, I will show you how to use WDT tool or wireless deployment tool to do site integration. WDT is an Android app developed by Huawei. It is, this app is used to do site integration. So using this app, you don't need laptop to do integration anymore. To use WDT tool, first of all, you will download the WDT tool and register for your project. The QR code for WDT tool and the project has already been shared to all the subcons. You can get it from your company. Once you register, Subcon will send email to Huawei for approval. Once Huawei approves your request, then you can use WDT tool. Now, let's say you got the approval. To use WDT tool, you will first log into WDT tool. When you log into WDT tool, at top you will see four options. Setting, local, online, site status. Before starting using WDT tool, make sure that you have, uh, you, uh, you have selected your project on which you are working. To do that, click on setting. As you can see currently, I have logged into so SCC Aspiration Wireless Expansion Project. So, right now I can integrate any site under this project. Make sure this is the same project you are working on. After that, you have three options, local, online, site set status. Local is your mobile memory. Online is the server on which all the configuration files are available. To integrate a site, first of all, you will download a site from online. Click To download the site, click on online. Here it will take two to three minutes to uh, because it is software is downloading the, all the site list from the server. As you can see, at top it is saying loading. It means that it is still loading, uh, downloading the site list from the server. Now the download is complete. Now we can search for, uh, for the site that uh, which configuration we want to download. Currently I am in training center, so I will search for training center. So I will write T or A I N I N G training center and I will click on batch. It will start searching for this site in this site list. As you can see, it has searched my site. Now, I will click on cancel. Now, in front of training center, there are two arrows, one facing downward, the other facing upward. The uh, downward arrow means to download the configuration file in your mobile. Upload, uh, upward arrow means to upload the configuration file from my mobile to server. Since we are downloading the configuration file, so I will click on the arrow that is facing downward. Now here, here the software is giving me some options, BTS hot patch package, BTS software package, BTS configuration script, guidance document. Out of these four, we need two files, BTS software package and BTS configuration script. So we will select these two. Now as you can see, when I uh, clicked on BTS software package, at bottom it is showing me that the size of this file is 5.36 GB. The BTS software package, it is same for all the sites. So you just need to download it once and then you can use it at every site. But the BTS configuration script, it is different for every site. So you have to download the BTS configuration script every time on every site. Since BTS software package is a big file, 5.36 GB, so I suggest you download it at your home when you are free and you don't have any other work. So download it at your home. When, when, once you are at site, you don't, so once you are at site, you don't have to download it because if you try to download it at site, it will take a lot of time. 5.36 GB, that's a lot of data. Currently, the BTS software package, I have already downloaded in my mobile, so I will not download it. I will only download the configuration script. When I uh, select the configuration script, you can see the total uh, size of this file is 703.16 KB. So it's a very small file. It will be downloaded in no time. I will click on download. OK. And as you see, just within five seconds, my configuration file is downloaded. Once the, con once the configuration file is downloaded, we will go back to local. Local is your mobile memory. Anything that you download from online, it will be available here. Now, we downloaded the training center. I will click on training center. 
Once I click on training center, I have five options deployment, transmission detect, primary device check, antenna RF detection, others. Deployment, if you want to upload or download, uh, upload the configuration, upload the software to UMPT or download the backup script, we will go to deployment. If we want to do the ping test, we will go to transmission detection. If we want to check the board, we will go to primary device check. If we want to check VSWR values, we will go to antenna RF detection. And if we want to check the active alarms, we will go to others. So first of all, we want to upload the script from my mobile to this UMPT. So I will click on deployment. In deployment, on top left, you can see there is any name, OMCH version, and on the opposite of OMCH, there is AP connection and in, uh, the login button. Currently in login box, you can see there is a red cross, which means we have not logged into this UMPT till now. To log in, we will connect USB cable from, my, uh, from our mobile to USB port of UMPT. We will disable our mobile data and click on login. Now since we are using USB, so we will select USB testing and back and it will automatically start to log into this UMPT. If it asks you for uh, log username and password, username will be admin and password hwbs at com or if the password of UMPT is changed, then you can use that password. Once log in, now there, there should once you are logged into UMPT at any name top left there should be site ID. OMCH currently it is red and cross because here in transmission center uh, here in training center we don't have any transmission connected to this UMPT so OMCH is down. But on site this should be green and tick. Version this is showing me the software version of this UMPT. If the software version of UMPT is old and then you need to upload the software version in this UMPT but if the soft, uh, software version is already upgraded then you don't need to upgrade, uh, upload any software version in this UMPT just below the version there is deployment if you want to take the backup download the software and download the configuration file in one, uh, in one click then you will click this deployment but you can do it separately as well to do it separately in front of backup script there is one play button just click on this play button this will take the backup of currently running configuration file and store it on your mobile now the next option is DLD software Below the DLD, uh, first of all, in front of DLD software, it is showing us the current software selected. You, if, you, if there are multiple software versions on mobile, we can select one of these from here. So currently, SPC 170, this is, this is the uh, up, upgraded version, so I will select that. Below DLD software, there is eGBTS, Node B, E Node B, G Node B. eGBTS means 2G. Node B means 3G, E Node B means 4G, and G Node B means 5G. So, for whichever technology you are uploading this software, you will select that technology from here. Here, currently in this video, I will upload this software for 4G. So, we'll, so I will uncheck EG Node, EGBTS, Node B, and G Node B, and click on this play button. Then it will upload the software from my mobile, or or you can say download the software to this UMPT as you can see it is downloading uh, downloading the software from my mobile to UMPT after the download it will activate and restart UMPT after the restart we, we will have to log in to UMPT again to download the configuration file in the Now it is activating this software version. After activation, it will automatically restart the UMPT. After restart, we will log in again using the same process.
now we will download the configuration file to download the configuration file click the play button in front of dld config as you can see right now in front of dld config uh, we i have there is training c.xml this is the configuration file that i downloaded from the server so i will just click on play button and this this file it will be uploaded to uh, the uh, umpt or downloaded from my mobile to this umpt now this is being downloaded from my from my mobile to this umpt after download the read bts will again restart and activate this configuration file after activation you can connect your transmission cable and uh, check with your rsc the site should be visible to them we can also uh, uh, do all of these steps uh, all of these three steps in a single click to do that first of all we will log in again to umpt again you, uh, we are since we are using usb cable so we will click usb tethering come back and it will automatically st uh, start to log into this umpt Now once you are logged in, to do all of these three steps in a single click, we will click on the play button in front of deployment. As you can see there is a uh, deployment just below the OMCH and version there is deployment. And on the uh, right side of this deployment there is a play button. If we click this play button, this app will take the backup script, it will download the software, it will download the configuration file. Now before clicking this, you first you will have to uncheck egbts node b and g node b in dld software configuration so it should download only e node b software if you are not going to uncheck it it will download the software for all g node b node b e node b and g node b we will uncheck egbts node b and g node b just below the dld software configuration after you have selected that just click on play button in front of deployment as you can see it is first of all it is taking the backup now it is uploading the software it is asking me to upload uh, if you, I want to upload the uh, software same software since this is this video is just for the training purpose so I will say ok And now as you can see it is downloading the software after software it will download the configuration and as you can see software download is almost completed now it is downloading the configuration file And now it is activating both so in one click we download the software we took backup we downloaded the software and we downloaded the configuration file in our umpt but again make sure while downloading the software you are downloading the software for the technology you will configure on this umpt after activation it is now restarting the umpt now after doing the integration you can check different parameters as well using wdt tool for example if you want to check alarms just click on other the last option here just click on other and there is alarm query in front of alarm query there is a play button click on this play button and when you click on details it will give you all the active alarms on this umpt so currently these are all the alarms active on this umpt now if you want to check vswr value go to fourth option antenna rf detection here set the stand uh, set the value threshold uh, currently it is 1.4 so click on the play button 
okay now when you will click on detail it will give you the, uh, the all the VSWR values on different jumpers since currently here in training center we don't have any RRU RR configured so it is showing no it is showing no board is configured but on site it will give you all the VSWR values for different jumpers and different RF ports if you want to check board go to third option primary device check first option is board click on the play button in front of board and by, by clicking on detail it will give you the details of all the boards and their uh, operations operational status it will also give you the serial numbers if the board is available or not the software version hardware version and boom core boot rom version if you want to check gps clock link on third op uh, at third we have gps clock link just click on the play button and it will give you the gps clock link currently there is no gps connected here so the gps link status has failed but on site it will give you the gps clock link as well so and if you want to do the ping test go to second option here transmission detection first of all we have ping ping tracer click on the play button and it will give you the ping test again here we don't have any transmission connected so it is not giving you any it will not give you any value but on site it will give you the ping, ping result so in this way using WDT tool you can upload the configuration you can check the active alarm you can check the VSWR value, you can check your board board status, you, you can check the GPS clock link and you can do the ping test with one app without the need of a laptop.